this week on the Blunders of Our Bulls. There was only one game played because of the All-Star break, but I have a lot to talk about. So Zach Levine was in the three-point contest, and I have to say, he did pretty good. 23 is a great score, but it wasn't enough to advance to the final round. In any other three-point contest, 23 would probably get him to the finals. But with Devin Booker and Buddy Heald going Super Saiyan, it made Zach Levine's 23 look average. Good performance by Levine, I'm proud of it. The Bulls played the Hornets on Thursday. Wendell Carter Jr. was supposed to make his return, but he didn't as he is sidelined for at least another two games. With that, the Bulls still had a good chance to win this game, until the third quarter, where of course, the Bulls found a way. In the third quarter, the Bulls were down 21, until they somehow came back. But then Zach Levine came out of the game, and the Hornets took a lead, and that was it. Thaddeus Young had a season-high 22 points in this game, as he did pretty good. Seems like the All-Star break cooled him off as Zach Levine only had 19 points, going 1 of 7 from 3. Injuries hurt the Bulls in this game, as they needed starters to come back quickly. The basketball gods for some reason cursed the Bulls and wanted another two sacrifices. Denzel Valentine is going to be out a couple of games with a hamstring injury. Luke Cornett will be out a couple of games with an ankle injury. With half the team injured, this season is 90% of the way to garbage. The Bulls are now 19 and 37 and 11th in the Eastern Conference. With the loss of the Hornets, the Bulls moved down to 11th as the Hornets took their spot in 10th. Our playoff chances are pretty much gone now, but there is still a sliver of a chance. The Bulls still have a very easy schedule, and I believe they can win a couple of those games. Hopefully the injured players return on the next episode of the Blunders of Our Bulls.